Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosx Bounty video. So I just wanted to make a very quick video this morning to take a look at some images that have appeared online in one of the Facebook groups, specifically the TVC UK Facebook group and the images of the back of the Scout Trooper card. And the reason it's interesting is because obviously we get to see some of the other figures that we haven't actually seen images of yet. They haven't been officially revealed, they've been pipelined, and they will be in the first wave of 2023. There are two figures that I specifically want to focus on in this video and talk about, and they are the Phase 2 Clone Trooper and Admiral Piet. I just want to say a big shout out to the person that has the original image and for sending me a better version of it so I can show you guys um, you know, a higher res image. So with all that being said, if you do happen to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like down below and also subscribe if you're new. And let's talk about the first figure. We're going to talk about the Phase 2 Clone Trooper first of all. Here you can see him on a yellow stroke orange background there. Uh, that will probably be the colour of the name pill and the panel behind the figure. Obviously, we're only seeing images of the figures for the first time. We don't have any like card back images or anything like that. But when the Phase 2 Clone Trooper was pipelined, you know, it really piqued my interest because the Phase 2 Clone Troopers that we have at the moment are far too skinny and they do have an oversized helmet because of the removable helmet. So it was very interesting to find out what they were going to be doing with this figure. We look at the Stormtrooper and how much they've improved that over the last year or so. And here we have the image of the Phase 2 Clone Trooper. And my first reaction of it is that it looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for this figure. You know, I'm going to army build this guy to death. Um, if I get the opportunity, of course, because pre-ordering figures in the UK at the moment seems to be quite hard. You know, all the stores seem to be like one per customer and things like that. I really do hope that that isn't the case for this Phase 2 Clone Trooper. But looking at the figure there, the legs do look better. Um, he's in that stance there with his sort of longer blaster rifle uh, bent at the knee. So you can't really tell 100%, but it, to me, the armor looks a lot bigger on the legs, a lot more in proportion. And the helmet to me does look um, in scale, I think. Again, it is very hard to tell, but it definitely doesn't look as big as the one that we have at the moment on that VC45 body. Um, it definitely looks a little bit more in scale. Again, hard to tell whether this is a removable helmet or not. But for me, the helmet, I don't know. Does it look a tiny bit too big? I don't know. I personally think, looking at this one image that we have, that we have a really, really good version of the Phase 2 Clone Trooper on our hands. And of course, once they've done this one, you could expect all the other Legions at some point in the future. Because that's the beauty of the Clone Trooper, isn't it? They can just repaint him for all the different Legions. And I'm, I'm all for that. I love the Clone Troopers. Some of you don't, I know that. But I absolutely love the Clone Troopers. And um, yeah, I just cannot wait for this figure. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this particular figure. Let me know what you think about the size of that bucket on his head. The second figure I want to talk about is Admiral Piet. Again, this was another one that was pipelined and you can see here he is on a red background. Very Imperial there. Often the bad guys in the vintage collection are on red name pilled with the panel behind the figure being red. And he looks great. He looks brilliant. Um, glad to see that they have got rid of the soft goods that the Grand Moff Tarkin figure has. And he looks fantastic. And obviously, again, you can tell that they're going to reuse that body for different officers in the Star Wars universe. We've already got Moff Jajerod, which has already been pipelined. That will use this body, no doubt. I like the way they've done the trousers and the boots. Uh, the belt buckle looks fantastic. He just looks great. Wondering, of course, if that hat will be removable. We'll find out more when we get the figure in hand. Hopefully, we won't have to wait too long for these figures. As I say, this is most likely wave one of 2023. You've got Admiral Piet, Hunter, who we have seen the figure for. Cassian Andor in the Aldani mission uh, figure. We've seen that one before. And then we have Starkiller, Vader's Apprentice. Now, this one, I think, was pipelined as well. This is going to be the repack in that wave. And when I interviewed Patrick at MCM Comic Con, I think he did confirm that they will be keeping the same card back with the Expanded Universe logo there. So don't expect anything different. The other thing about the back of the Scout Trooper card back is the number VC273. I'm pretty sure we knew that already. Um, and there is the Scout Trooper as well. And then they've just put some of the other figures from the most recent wave, Cassian Andor and Val Sartha on the back. But 
Uh, yeah, that wave is going to include Admiral Piet, Hunter, Cassian Andor, Aldani Mission, Phase 2 Clone Trooper, and Star Killer. Maybe there will be a sixth one for, you know, to fill out the wave. Not too sure at the moment. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, awesome that this image turned up online. It is the back of the Scout Trooper that is included with the speeder bike, which hopefully I will have very soon for a review. Uh, maybe even next week so stay tuned for the channel subscribe to the channel if you want to see that I'll be doing lots of videos about the speeder bike obviously the review to begin with and then a comparison video against the other speeder bikes that we've had in the past all right then guys thank you so much for watching I just wanted to show you that image that's turned up online of the back of the scout trooper so we can see those new figures that we can look forward to next year thank you so much for watching and thank you to my patreon supporters and channel members and don't worry, Ask Boss Bounty video will be later on today. Two videos for today. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we shall see you on the next one.